Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the minimum time visiting all points problem. It is a lead code easy and the number for this is 1266. Uh, so in this problem, we are given a 2D plane and there are n points with integer coordinates given by points of i. So points is actually a 2D array and every row in points, uh, points array consists of uh, two coordinate x, x and the y coordinate of a particular point. So we have to return the minimum time in seconds to visit all the points in the points array. And there are some rules. What are the rules? In one second we can either move vertically by one unit or horizontally by one unit. Or we can move diagonally, uh, diagonally square root units. So we can move like 1 plus 1. So we have to visit the points in the same order as they appear in the array and we are allowed to pass through the points that appear later in the order but do not count at visits so okay uh, okay we can do this so for this we may be using a chessboard distance formula which is also known as the Chebyshev distance which is given by max of x2 minus x1 uh, this is the absolute value of x2 minus x1 and absolute value of y2 minus y1 so we can take the ma maximum value of these two and take this distance and return as the answer so this is how we are going to solve so the problem essentially asks for the minimum time to traverse the sequence of points on the 2d plane using the this following specific movement rules this is the problem and we can calculate the time as it uh, takes to move between consecutive points using this formula so let's see through an example suppose we take this example 1 1 3 3 4 minus 1 0 so how we are going to do this so we are going to uh, divide the points array into different uh, different sub arrays like this will be a different sub array this will be a different sub array and this will be a different sub array there will be virtual division like we will be passing the uh, divided uh, rows of the points array to the function and we would not be actually dividing the array so we would be creating a function two time and we would be passing a sub array from and a sub array to to do this and we will calculate the time using this formula so let's see so initially the accumulated time will be zero so first of all the two from will be this and two will be this uh, from will be one one and two will be three four so we use this formula calculate so the maximum becomes three okay accumulated time is three then in the second point we go from three four to we, we go to minus one zero then we apply the formula again x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 we take the maximum so in this case the maximum becomes seven so we take seven and after accumulating and traversing all the points the since the accumulated time is 7 so we return 7 which is true as per the given sample test case so this is how we are going to do this but uh, now let's come to the code section of this approach but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so first of all in this we need to define a time to calculate the result then we are iterating on the this will start from one points since we will be dividing so we'll be using i minus one so that's why i'm starting it from one so time plus equal to we'll create a function two time two time function will be created and this will take virtually divided sub arrays so points of i minus 1 points of i this is the from we are going from this point points of i minus 1 to we are going to points of i okay and here we need to return sim simply the time now let's write the two time function as well
one will be to one will be from we can define two variables here x difference will be giving mat dot abs from of 0 minus 2 of 0 because the 0th index is containing the x coordinate and for the y coordinate we will be using from of 0 from of 1 and from 2 of 1 and we have to return the maximum of this now let's i think i have written the code let's run it for the sample test cases yes some error here and what's the error oh we have to give the return type the sample test cases are passed let's try to run it for the hidden test cases as well so okay passed so the time complexity for this solution is o of n uh, where n is the number of points in the point array and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space in this so this is the complexity if you want the c++ javascript and python code you can go to the solutions panel in the uh, lead code section and check this solution this is my solution given here and you can go down you can also see the explanation intuition complexities and you can check the code for java c++ python javascript and yes you can upload the solution as well so thank you for watching the video have a nice day i hope you like the video and understood the logic